The GeForce Now Ultimate tier upgrade is just about here. And recently, I made a video on how many were not going to be able to use the 240Hz upgrade they're about to deploy with, and how that was a bit of an overkill. And according to the polls I put out, only about 10% of you guys have a device to utilize the 240Hz. Not to mention how many of those users actually have Ultimate, but I was a bit surprised that the results were 10% of those who actually have a 240Hz device. I was guessing it would be a bit lower. So the overkill statement wasn't necessarily wrong, but I did find out the real reason why they're pushing 240Hz and the catch along with it. I was recently part of a GeForce Now Ultimate press meeting. Now I can't show the actual meeting, but I can show the images and explain what was said. Those who might know, the Ultimate tier will be using their new 4080 SuperPod, which is a proprietary server setup exclusive to GeForce Now at this time. I'll get more into that later. But this SuperPod will be encoding video using the newer AV1 codec. Now I've talked about this codec before with the Xbox Keystone. This codec is a lot more efficient and is able to encode up to 65% faster and save up to 30% bandwidth data with better visual results. Now they talked about their new NVIDIA Reflex technology, which reduces latency under 40 milliseconds. And this is what it's all about, folks. Now how Reflex is supposed to work is that the GPU will render your frame at the same time as your input from mouse or controller, then send it back to you as quickly as possible. Increasing the game frames to 240 FPS naturally reduces latency because the video is faster. This means they can render and encode faster, reducing latency to you. And this will work even better if you have desktop hardware that supports display enhancements like a G-Sync monitor or a decent GPU or both. Now because of the AV1 encoding and their new reflex technology, they are bringing you game latency that beats the Xbox Series X even at 120 hertz. Now, here's the catch. The reflex technology has to be put into games to get this latency benefit. And as of now, there are only 56 games that have reflex in them. And there's a lot of them on this list that are not on GeForce Now. If you want to check out this list in full, the link is in the description. So even if you do get the ultimate tier, not all games are supported to reduce latency to the point that they're promoting. They need to add reflex to a lot more games for this to be beneficial. And if I'm correct, the AV1 encoding is not for free or even priority members, so these members won't get any latency benefits at all. Let me know your thoughts on this. Now I did manage to ask a question regarding whether they would be selling this tech to other cloud platforms. The presenter answered saying, he's not a sales guy, but he can imagine that these would be available for purchase for other platforms and he doesn't know their schedule for upgrading, end quote. Well, that's not a yes or a no, so I guess we'll see. If you like this update on GeForce Now, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. This is the Black Knight, always keeping you in the loop.